Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to a new segment on the Brain Warriors Way podcast that we're going to do each week uh, called Brain in the News, where we actually look at, well, what's happening in neuroscience uh, that's new and interesting. Lots. And, you, you know, every day it seems I'm sending our team an article I read mm -hmm. or they're sending me something. And so we're just going to go through a couple on this podcast because we want to keep you up to date on what's the latest science. Mm -hmm. And um, this article just came out. Um, oh, before we do, if you get a big idea from this podcast, please post it and hashtag Brain Warriors Way. Yeah, I have podcast. a feeling this one might be, a, <laughs> we're going to get a lot of big ideas on this We're going to get a lot of big ideas. So um, an article came out that basically said plant-based diets risk worsening brain health. Mm -hmm. And the article um, basically said, exclusive plant-based diets are deficient in the neurotransmitter choline. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. Th that's not really new, but I think a lot of people don't know it. And so um, that's what people often ask why we're not vegan and why we don't promote vegan. We, pr we promote like 70 to 80% plant-based diet with very high quality protein. Um, no hormones, no antibiotics, grass fed. Um, and we support vegan, anyone who's vegan, we're not, we don't have a dog in the fight we, other than your brain health. So we want you to get tested. We want you to supplement, do the right things. But I actually asked one of my mentors, Dr. Hyman, Mark Hyman, about this. I said, why is it that, because he believes the same thing we do, 70 to 80% plant-based with just a little bit of lean protein, um, clean protein, I should say. So I asked him about this. I said, wh why is it that um, people feel better when they start a plant-based diet and then they don't. He goes, well, that's exactly what happens. He, he reinforced that. He said, what happens is they were eating so awful and they felt so awful and they had so much inflammation that when they start eating clean initially, just the fact of getting that stuff out and eating plants decreases the inflammation and they feel better. It takes a while for the nutrient deficiency to kick in. So they don't end up correlating it to their diet because it takes, he goes, what I end up seeing is that a year to two years later, or sometimes three years later, they start to feel really awful, tired, fatigued, um, depressed, anxious. And that's what he starts to see is that a few years later, it starts to get really bad. So initially they feel good, then they feel bad. So let me read a little bit of this because a lot of people maybe have not heard about choline mm -hmm. and choline is an essential nutrient. Um, which means you have to get it from your diet. And mm -hmm. it's critical to brain health, uh, particularly during fetal development. Mm -hmm. it, influence, it also influences the liver. The primary dietary sources of choline are beef, eggs, yeah. dairy products, fish, and chicken, with much lower levels found in nuts, beans, cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli. You have to eat and too much of it to in get it. 19 98, recognizing the importance, the U.S. Institute of Medicine recommended minimum daily intakes, 425 milligrams uh, for women and 550 milligrams a day uh, for men. So it's not an inconsequential uh, amount. And so if you're on an exclusive plant-based diet, it's very hard for you to get choline. Choline is also heavily involved in memory right. and in learning. And learning new so things. we, um, Hooperzine A, for example, which is in um, Brain and Memory Power Boost, boosts acetylcholine, which then goes to choline. So it's very important to have enough nutrients from your diet. Um, meat also has B vitamins, and B vitamins are critical for the function of virtually every cell right. in the body. Now, if somebody is vegetarian, and we treat many people, and they're vegetarian for... Um, Religious or ethical... 
for ethical reasons or spiritual reasons, then it's important to supplement mm-hmm. uh, with things like choline and B vitamins. So what what I want to point out from this article is that you said something, and I don't want it to slip through, that it's especially critical during pregnancy. So because we've seen an, an increase in kids with depression and anxiety. And wasn't there a study that showed that um, women who don't, uh, who are vegan during pregnancy can have problems with children later so if the, they're not supplementing? There's all sorts of studies like that. But the one that came out recently, so another brain in the news, is women who had low omega-3 fatty acid levels had five times the level of depression. And those also can cognitively impact kids. Right. Let's move on to another study. A uh, new blood test could help identify veterans That's with PTSD. So uh, although when I actually went and read this study, they were a little murky on exactly uh, what um, tests showed. So it's, a little, showed it's one of those little bit of shady. It's, um, well, no, not shady. But what it said is if you had a mixture of methylation problems, oh. so your body is not able to produce enough methyl groups, which is critical to drive so many things. If there were high inflammatory markers, if there was high insulin, um, that people were more likely to have a mental health issue. It's the whole point of the brain warrior's way, Mm -hmm. right? One of the important steps we always say is you have to know your important health numbers. And if they're not right, we want you to get them right. And methylation you need for detoxing too, correct? For yeah. for clearing your body of things that, and if you have a toxic brain, you don't feel good. So looking for a blood test coming down the line, this news article is going to make you mad. Um, my prediction, it's not a judgment, just my prediction. Mom's marijuana use impairs baby's memory into adolescence. So many pregnant women are turning to marijuana to help curb morning sickness during early pregnancy. A new study reports maternal marijuana use may be detrimental to the brain development of children. Exposure to THC in utero can cause learning and memory problems that may continue into adolescence. And let's just be honest, if they continue into adolescence, you're gonna have them the rest of your life. Well, because you missed so much important stuff during those critical years. Yeah, we talked about judgment in our last episode, so I think I'm gonna be quiet. Auburn University um, Harrison School of Pharmacy researchers found more and more expectant mothers are turning to marijuana. Um, A recent report claiming that the number of women using marijuana during pregnancy has more than doubled in the last um, 15 years. And there's another study out of Pueblo, Colorado that found a 1,700% increase in babies born um, exposed to marijuana. This is not a good trend. And, you know, you and I fight about this all the time. I think we should legalize marijuana and then tell people it's dangerous. You think we should throw them all in jail. No, I don't. I actually don't. So (laughs) let me clarify that. I think we should change the laws around it. I don't think we should legalize it because when we legalize it, we normalize it. And then kids think it's okay. And it's a whole vicious circle. And that's certainly been happening. Right. Right. Another fascinating study um, came out about does do antidepressants that raise serotonin affect the gut's microbiome. And so we've actually talked about the hundred trillion soldiers you have in your gut that are helping you, the microbiome, the hundred trillion bacteria, virus, yeast, all sorts of uh, characters, but they should be your soldiers to help you produce vitamins, detoxify your food, help you with digestion. Um, They make neurotransmitters. A new study in mice led by UCLA biologists strongly suggests that serotonin and drugs that target serotonin, um, such as Prozac, Paxil, Zoloft, Effexor, Pristique, can have a major effect on the gut's microbiome and actually decrease the production of serotonin. And, and you know, it's been my issue with uh, many... 
um, antidepressants, it's once you start them, they're so hard right. to stop. Because they actually change the... And, and, and we're both a fan of antidepressants for the right person. Sure. But we want you to do all the other things as well. Head to head against Prozac exercise was shown to be equally effective. Head to head against Prozac, omega-3 fatty acids were actually found to be more effective. Learning how to not believe every yeah, stupid thing you thought. Meditation, making sure your thyroid is right. All of the bright minds risk factors that we talk about over and over. Um, you want to make sure you're doing those things too. So if you need an antidepressant, you're going to need less of it for less period of time. Mm -hmm. So those are our articles for Brain in the News. We hope you like this segment. We're going to try to distribute it or do one each week. When we come back, we're going to talk about, we're going to answer your questions. And we love that because our goal is to grow the Brain Warrior community to a billion people in the next 25 years. That's our goal here at Amen Clinics and Brain MD. So make sure you leave a review for us on Apple Podcast. And during the Q&A, you can also, or even now, you can um, go to brainwarriorwaypodcast.com, visit our review page, and leave a question there. You can leave a review there, and we it will enter you into a raffle to win my cookbook, The Brain Warrior's Way Cookbook, and I'll sign it for you. If you're enjoying the Brain Warrior's Way podcast, please don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when there's a new episode. And while you're at it, feel free to give us a review or five-star rating as that helps others find the podcast. If you're considering coming to Amen Clinics or trying some of the brain healthy supplements from BrainMD, you can use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or a 10% discount on all supplements at brainmdhealth.com. For more information, give us a call at 855-978-1363.